I want you to know what she values. I want you to know what her preferences are because when you do, you will find more powerful ways to enrich her and ultimately to grow your business. She literally owns controls. Owns and controls. 86% of US spending. 65% of global spending, and that's growing. And let me just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it used to be that she owned and controlled his money. <laughs> and now it is that she owns and controls his money, her money, and their money. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing. By 2020, what we believe is we believe that she will control $72.1 trillion globally. And if you look at every single spending category in this country and in, in, in the world globally, you will discover that she controls the highest percentages of the spending in every single one of those categories. And even one of the categories that my husband is very, very fond of, of recent, which is the sports category. <laughs> Since we happen to write a book about you know, a sports club but, or a baseball franchise, what's amazing is she even controls the money in that space too. <laughs> she is larger than India, and China combined. She is a 20, a 20 trillion dollar economy. And she is misrepresented, and she is misunderstood, <laughs> and she is oh so powerful. So here's just some caveats to her. She is multi generational. And just because you know that she's multi-generational doesn't mean you treat every single one of those generations the exact same, same way. You can't enrich them the same way because they're different. So let's unpack it. Let's get to know her generations.